what's up youtube it's leah's mom ty and before we get started this is a super glare but as you can see my window my door is open and so it is causing a glare let's see if i can oh, that's a little better and also my hair is a hot mess y'all but um I just blow dried it and I've been trying to get this video out since yesterday. Been babysitting my niece and my, my nephew and Leah and they are loud. Cue the noise. So if you hear them, please excuse because they are here and I just I wanted to get this video out. So today I'm going to be talking about Vitex and some do's and some don'ts of what I've noticed this time go around. So if you are interested, stick around. the do's is that it helped really well with my PMS I didn't notice this last time I was taking it um, this time well whenever I was taking it last year I didn't notice that it helped with my PMS but I was trying to write everything around out around this time so I could give you guys the nitty-gritty and I noticed that I had a lot less bloating I had no cramping and I'm not a person that usually cramps hard anyway but when I usually get AF, I just have cramps. I mean, Tylenol, I mean, not Tylenol, Advil or Aleve or whatever usually takes them away. So they're not terrible. So I can't attest to whether they take away super terrible cramps or anything. Like if I hear that endo people with endometriosis have the worst cramps. So I don't know if they take them away. But at least it's worth something worth trying. And that also, it helped a lot with my acne around. Um around AF time I get a lot more pimples and um, uh, uh, just at cystic acne around here and there and the breaks out was very minimal I've been don't look don't take it for now because it got little bumps here and there but that's because my skin is really oily from um, having my hair down for these last few days I've been working in the room and um, but just generally for those two things, I've noticed this time around, um, we've gone through um, after not having AF, I want to say for about 90 days. I have PCOS for those of you that are, are new and I am trying to conceive baby number two. Um, I have um, one of the milder cases of PCOS where I just don't ovulate. Um, I am not insulin um, resistant um, so my body processes sugar perfectly fine and if I could leave those donuts and cookies alone your girl would be just fine but I do retain weight it is harder for me to lose weight than um, just normal people um, with PCOS you have um, a, you have a hormone imbalance and one of those hormones that get imbalanced um, can't think of the name off of my top of my head but I think it starts with an L uh, linotil or don't quote me look it up if that hormone is out of whack and instead of releasing it stores so you cannot lose weight as easily as a person that might you know just a normal person that loses weight you have to work twice as hard and so um so those are just a little few of the symptoms extra facial hair i don't be growing no mustaches and nothing like that but your girls be having a few whiskers under her chin that she has to pluck out um and i other than that i really don't have any excessive hair anywhere um than normal um and so it 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 harbins my ovulation i can't basically without medication I, I basically do not ovulate but i have noticed these um vitex has made me ovulate i think about after 90 days i might be misquoting because now it's a few months i'm a few months in to this vitex thing so one of the um things i noticed that after a while your body gets used to it the research that i've done too also says that you should not take uh vitex too long about three to six months as long as long as you should take because this um affects your pituitary gland and after a while your pituitary should even out and it won't this the vitex won't help it anymore it'll basically it'll actually start to hurt 
hurt your uh, pituitary. So three to six months is how long. Um, another thing is you should never take it with any other medications um, like Clomid or any other things that are um, medicated by your doctor. This is more of a herbal and does not um, interact well with anything else. Um, so if you're taking Vitex, do not take anything else. That is exactly why I'm starting to wean myself off. Um, I found a um, OBGYN that I will be going to on July 18th. She had a lot of good reviews, so I'm hoping she is going to be a good um, fit for me. Um, I don't plan on moving forward until I have all my questions answered. Um, but hopefully she will be good for me. So I'm starting to wean myself off of the Vitex anyway. Um, cause I'm getting close to my three months. Um, and I do notice that now I am starting to, um, taper off. I'm cycle day 45 and I still have not had AF. So... Um, I mean, I still have not ovulated, so, um, definitely haven't had AF. So, I'm definitely weaning, and that could be a reason also because I'm weaning and I'm not taking as much Vitex. So, maybe if I was taking the recommended dose of three times a day, right now I'm on two, one in the morning, one in the evening, and after tomorrow or the next day, I have it written down. After that, I will be down to one pill. You want to kind of like wean yourself off very slowly because it can throw your pituitary into a tailspin if you just stop cold turkey. So I am slowly weaning myself off and getting ready for that doctor's appointment. Hopefully this doctor is going to be good. If you have not heard my horror story about my other doctor, please go ahead. I will link it down below. Take a look at that um, and understand that it is never too late. You can always find you another doctor. And um, I think that's about it. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little recap. It is good for if you are needing to get your menses back. If you are trying to get AF and you haven't had it in a long time, take the pill and give it at least a month to work and you will get AF back. Um, it is good for irregular periods if you have AF, but every now and again, it takes like 900 days, like 50 11 20 30 hundred days to get your uh period this is a good medication for you and if you're just looking you know to regulate your cycle or get uh, uh a good uh, handle on some acne and everything or your pms symptoms you don't even have to take it that long you can kind of slowly if it's not for fertility you could just slightly take maybe one or two pills a day and then just slowly wean yourself off because if you don't have anything wrong and you just take the pill and you you know you're just not getting pregnant and you just want to take the pill because you heard that it gets you pregnant it will throw your cycle off if you don't have anything wrong definitely consult a holistic doctor because not a lot of um, actual doctors know a lot about Vitex because it's more of a herbal supplement and not a medicated. So you could talk to like a chiropractor or like a holistic doctor or even somebody at GNC. They could tell you more about Vitex than your doctor because I work in the medical, medical field and we don't. You can ask any of my OB doctors and they'd be like, what is Vitex? So they they would be reading up on it just like you would. So I would... Um, Take that advice and look. So if any of those reasons that I listed before are reasons that you should definitely give Vitex a try. Um, and if you have any questions or anything I haven't answered, if there's anything I did not answer or questions that um, I did not address and you want to ask me, go ahead and comment down below. And if you have taken Vitex and you want to let me know something that maybe I didn't add in here, go ahead and let me know about that also. And I want to thank all my new subscribers. So um, subscribing um, and don't forget to like this it's right down there it's right down there like this subscribe hit that bell notification and stay tuned with your girl